I starting from the electric hook up from uh, under just the back of the van. This is a Sprinter 311. It's been converted to camper van. Side of the van. Opening back of the van. It is a high roof and it's been converted to the car one. This is the back of the van storage. As you see, the storage. There's a bed and there is a basket. I can show you the other side. And it's a huge storage under the bed, which is almost 90 centimeters height and 170 centimeter 190 centimeter length and 170 centimeter weight so it's a huge storage area on the of the van i can show you the side of the van and there's a uh, two little scratches i can show you one is at this side of the van and all the toilet has been Newly done, and all the brake, brake pad, and brake disc was newly done. This uh, window was factory window was fitted as well. And show you all around the land. The other side, front of the van, and you can see the the, the side of the van. General is very clean van and. The side window was fitted in there. there as well. I can open the so you can get the idea of the van. This is the I get a closer, see better view, so you can get a mileage is 102,857 current mileage. It is and. It's got a CD player, everything, and ship. So like a new one, it is. And so much you have charge. See, see, it is there. So, uh, so you see in the right hand side of the van, and I take you back in the left hand side. <coughs> so I can show you the tire is a new tire. And the brake pad inside, I don't know if it's visible or not, but brake pad and brake is all new. So I can show you this side of the opening the door, and generally it's over here, nice and clean one. So I'll take you inside. Inside is the standing area, one adult can stand around the two meter. The height inside less than two meter, but if you are more than two meter height, so I wouldn't recommend that you have to. Uh, so it's got a storage boxes here, and using as a bench seat as well. It's got single seat being fitted, and almost here you see you can see the cook gas cooker, and is here we got a. Uh, gas cooker and it's it's got a two gas things which is ideas for cooking uh, so you can cook your dinner here with no problem at all and when you cook it you can close it down and you know it's been fitted to the sink unit so when you're moving it doesn't move it used to be portable but I screwed it to the sink base so it's a stop there this is as you see is a sink and you open the tap it's got a pump electric pump and it's open the water and there's a 25 liter uh, storage fresh water and waste tanks underneath and you see the white one is the waste tank and the yellow one is the uh, 
uh, yellow one is the fresh water tank as you see this one is electric is a rechargeable battery so it's power the my pump uh, the pump is just right there as you can see this is the 12 volts uh, fridge and it's quite handy when you're using running your van you can use the with a van and when you stop somewhere then you need to use a laser battery which i don't have a laser battery in this van i have got two battery rechargeable battery which is one is running television for six hours which is there and another one running the electric pump for water tank so we never needed the laser battery and this is the portable toilet is a porta potty 165 and you're using toilet i'm sure most of you you know how is it a 20 liter waste water and 20 liter fresh water in the top and as you see there is a window was fitted here it's a curtain i fitted the curtain uh there is a front curtain it's divided to front seat to the back seat and as you see this seat being bolted to the floor and on the person is a safe and it's got his own seat belts because it's a sport seat is and i'll show you the bed now is is uh, the length of the bed upper, uh, roughly around the 190 centimeter length and 170 centimeter weight as you see the there is a two mattress are you using two level mattress as we have got a disabled person so the bed must be very very relaxed you know we need it to be very extra comfy so not feeling pain things like that so the end of the morning when you wake up you don't feel any you know you slept in the van and you know crunchy thing like that so plenty space for three people can sleep as you see there is an electric uh, 240 volt fuse box is here and there is a two main electric and that one is there for the light 240 volt and as you say you can see there is a four storage basket is up there you can store the food or clothes whatever you like it so it's a huge storage area as you see this the ceiling the ceiling all been all around the ceiling was insulated with a five centimeter insulation uh, and i put a whiteboard top of the insulation is been screwed to the ceiling and it's 100 percent is safe i can show you the screw the screw is yet so i don't need to screw all the run so it's 100 percent safe and i done it myself the uh this all around the van was you know uh the, i put the insulation and then i put the carpet top of the i put a you know wooden board there and then i put a carpet top of the board so well insulated so there is a if you don't feel very very hot in the summer and you don't feel very cold in the winter inside the van so that's the beauty of that so i've been never used any heater and we never used any air conditioner in this one so we generally was happy to use in this one as you see i i, I am standing uh, in my van and my height is i am 100 uh, uh 73 centimeter and as you can see his height is quiet i am standing and this is my area so as you see there's a plenty area for a standing boardroom you can have you never use any table as uh, we didn't need it we use the uh, you know dish and uh, for eating things like that so we generally kept the one clean like at uh, the first day i built it yeah so so i built this one myself and 
we, we had a trip to Europe, so we did really enjoy that. And so now uh, it's time uh, my wife can, you know, because it's a little bit the step is high for her, so I needed the lower floor when as we have got a disabled. So that is the reason we are putting the on sale for this one. I hope everybody like this video and help you know help you to understanding uh, how this one condition because the photo doesn't really show what sort of the start. And uh, they are all, they also say the price you pay you don't pay anything for fitting an extra or only charge you for the one price. So all the fitting everything is come free of charge. You just only pay the uh, one price and then you get a extra seat. You get a two window. You get a sink cupboard. You get a two leisure two. Uh, rechargeable battery which run your television for more than six hours and which run the things you get a gas cooker and you get a porty toilet and you get a bed for free and that's all you get so if I've got any tools things like that in the van then I will remove it before the sale. I hope everybody enjoy this one and this is the the video I made it on the 31st of the uh, August 2010. It's almost inside the van. It's nice and clean. The only spot under the seat I should to say is a few burn marks. Is there when I bought it? It was like that. So. Me and my wife, we are not a smoker, and we got a little child. So this is how you should show in the my things. And generally, as you see, when it's nice and clean, it is. Bye, everyone. Bye.